All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up a DHCP reservation on a Unify router. This way, every single time one of your clients connects to the network, it will always be given the exact same local IP address. And this is crucial anytime you wanna host a service or anything like that, because you don't wanna constantly be having to switch up what IP address you're connecting to, and it will just save you a huge headache down the line. There are kind of two different ways you can do this. And the way I've actually done this is, Basically, I've segmented my network into two different parts. The first part, basically IP addresses from 10.0.0.0.1 all the way up to 10.0.0.256, so basically that entire subnet, are given out as DHCP addresses. Then, I don't automatically give out any other addresses other than that, but I then use the 10.0.1 subnet as all my static reservations, so I know anything on that is stuff I can customize. But for simply setting something up at home, that's not necessary. All you have to do is basically pick an address, and as long as no client's using it, you can set up this DHCP reservation, and that way, every single time your NAS or anything that you need a static IP address connects to the network, it will always be given the exact same IP address, and you can always find it in the exact same place. This is a lot better than setting up a static IP address directly on the device, because if it switches networks, it's not going to try to get that IP address again. This was actually a huge headache for me because I stupidly had everything as static IP addresses set on the device because it's honestly just easier to set up. Then I moved and I was like, you know what? I want to use the 10.0 subnet rather than the 192.168 subnet. And so by doing that, all my devices were trying to connect to the wrong subnet and I couldn't access them. And so it was a big headache trying to reset up everything because I had to go through and basically connect a dummy switch and just slowly switch everything over. And so this way it's so much easier because if I'd done the same thing here, they all would have just gone, okay, I've got a new router. What's my new IP address? And would not have had to configure everything like that. All right, and so to do this, we're basically just going to take a Raspberry Pi. Any device will work and we're going to hook it up to the network. So while the Raspberry Pi is booting up, I want to make one quick clarification. A DHCP reservation is only by MAC address, not by device. And so for most devices, this is one and the same because you don't have more than one network port on a device. But for devices like something like Synology NAS that might have two network ports on it, each one of those network ports is going to have a different IP address unless it's in link aggregation. And so if you were to unplug one of the ports and plug it into the other port, it would be given a different MAC address because it's a different MAC address. And so it would not be given that same IP address. And so that's just one thing to note. If you ever like, why is it not working? It might be because you switched MAC addresses. But the other really nice thing about this is, especially for something like a Raspberry Pi, you can set it up to always have the exact same IP address, even if you flash the firmware, which on a Raspberry Pi, I'm doing every single day just about, it feels like. And so always having the exact same IP address to connect to it because the MAC address is hardwired into the actual network chip. And so that means that every single time you flash it, it's not changing the MAC address. And so it always gets the same IP address. All right, and so now that the Raspberry Pi is booted up, we're gonna go ahead and log in to the Unify dashboard. And as you can see, I'm on the current revision. I don't even know what revision of this. Unify has changed the dashboard quite a few times, but I'm thinking this is kind of them stabling out and hopefully I'll start doing more tutorials in it. I've kind of stopped due to the fact that they've been changing the dashboard, it seems like every month. And so immediately all my tutorials are kind of invalid because well, now it's changed. But now it looks like they've kind of stopped doing that as much. So I'm gonna start doing a lot more tutorials in here and hopefully they don't change everything and invalidate all my tutorials. All right, and so setting this up is incredibly easy. Assuming you're using your UDM as a DHCP server, which 90% of users are gonna be doing and the other 10% probably already know exactly how to set this up. All right. And so what you're gonna do is all you have to go down is into clients and you're going to find your client. So right here, this is that Raspberry Pi I was talking about. And you can see right here, it's been given the 10.0.0.98 IP address. Well, we can just go ahead and click on it and we've got a few different options. We go into configuration and network and this is where we can set up that DHCP reservation. And so you just say used fix IP address. And then you can select your network. If you've got multiple VLANs, you can do that here. And then you can also choose the IP address. So to super simplify it, you would just give it the 10.0.0.98 IP address that it's already got. And so next time it connects, it would have that. But if you want to be more organized, you can set up whatever IP address you've got, as long as it's on the subnet of the LAN network that you're using. 
So you can just go ahead and enter that in here. And so I'm gonna choose 10.0.1.31, and that's the IP address my Raspberry Pi gets every single time it connects. Well, this Raspberry Pi. And then all we have to do is click Apply Changes. All right, and so now it's applied the changes, but you can see right here, it's still got that 10.0.0.98 IP address. And if we were to ping it, it would still have the IP address. This is because it's a DHCP reservation. That means that your router has already said, okay, you're good on that IP address. This is your IP address, 10.0.0.98. And so your router cannot go back and say, no, 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 you don't have that IP address anymore. What the client has to do is the client has to give up that IP address and get a new one. There's two different ways you can do this. The easiest one is to power cycle the device. So that's what I'm gonna do. But the other one is to go ahead and click on the device. There's options in every single operating system called Renew DHCP Reservation. And basically that'll force the device to ask the router for a new DHCP reservation. And the router will go, oh, hey, look, you've got this MAC address. That means I'm supposed to give you 10.0.1.31. But instead, it's just gonna do that whenever you boot up. And so that's a lot easier. So I'm just gonna unplug it and plug it back in. All right, and so now the Raspberry Pi is rebooted and you can see right here, it now has that 10.0.1.31 IP address. And that is the IP address that it will always grab every single time it connects to your home's network. And it's just that easy. This is especially great for laptops and things like that, where you're always taking them to different networks and you don't want them to always be trying to grab the same IP address unless they're home. And this is where you can set up your laptop to every single time it connects to Wi-Fi and it's at your home's network, your router will say, okay, you're home, this is your IP address. And that way you can always find it if you're using it to set up a server. And so this is super easy to do and now it's just gonna go ahead and work. All right, and well, honestly, that's all there is to it. Now that device is just gonna go ahead and connect every single time. I know this was a quick one, but that's all I've got for you. Go ahead and leave any of the tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below. And if you wanna hire me, there's a link for that. All right, have a good one, bye.